Hello, my name is Quentin, and I am very passionate about the game Minecraft. Minecraft is known as the game where the only limitation is your own creativity. However, this statement is incorrect, for the game can get kind of boring after a while, especially if you don't like mining. Luckily, there exist programs called mods, which can be used to spice up the game. These mods are programmed by other passionate Minecrafters that add new content and even play styles. Through the use of mods, the limitations begin to lift. Many new things are now possible. You can build fantastical railways, explore alternate dimensions, or, my favorite, build sprawling factories. But in the end, you are still limited, as the number of mods in existence is finite. This trouble influenced my life when my friend wanted to be able to run around shooting saw blades at things, looking really cool. But as it happened, no such mod existed. Luckily, I was able to come to the rescue. Because although I like Minecraft, I enjoy programming even more. For the past half year, I have used a mod called CubeJS that allows me to write JavaScript code that modifies the game. As such, I spent the following couple days after his request programming in the Sawblade Launcher, a gun that lets you shoot saw blades at creatures. Soon I had uploaded the latest version of my mod pack to my Minecraft server so all my friends could play together with the saw blade launchers. By mod pack, I mean a collection of mods and configuration changes which includes the JavaScript code. This is all put together by a person such as myself that makes the gameplay follow a unique playstyle and progression as well as introduces interesting challenges. I have also programmed many other custom features. For example, there are these monsters called Gats that float around in this evil dimension called the Nether in Minecraft. These Gats are quite a nuisance because they constantly shoot explosive fireballs at players. And one day I decided I wanted to have this power. I then programmed in an item that will launch a fireball from the player at the target of the choosing. I even added in the ability to upgrade the fireball so the player can actually be more destructive than the ghasts, a bit at a significant cost of resources. Again, all this is possible because of the mod CubeJS that lets me write JavaScript code to easily modify the game, which would otherwise require developing a mod, which is difficult. It was about a half a year ago when I first realized the existence of CubeJS. I was wildly excited. I had no idea where to start. Shortly though, I found the official Discord server for CubeJS. That acted like a forum for the discussion of the future of the mod, showcases of things developed with it, and most importantly, a way to ask for questions and receive help through learning the mod. It took me a couple of months after asking a multitude of questions to feel confident with it, but even today, I am still learning new ways to alter the game from this Discord server. I wanted to give back for all the help I had been given. I did so by answering other people's questions. Many of the questions were from absolute beginners. Something like, why does my code not work? To which I would reply, you have an extra comma, or missing a bracket. Then I would provide a recommendation of how they could prevent their issue in the future. In this case, using a real code editor, which would tell them automatically if they made a syntactical error. I also answered questions from more advanced users that wanted to add their own custom stuff. For example, I want to add in goat milk, but I don't know how to detect the interaction with a goat. I would then provide them with an adjacent example. I then provided a link to the resource I used to solve their problem so that in the future they could use it to solve the on their own. In this case, a list of all the possible events in-game that can be detected with code. There are thousands of active users on this Discord server that I contribute to. I've been very active posting and answering questions. In fact, I'm the 10th most active user in the support section of the Discord server in the last 6 months, including the creators of the mods themselves. The final goal of all this effort is to release a completed mod pack that people will want to play. You can play an incomplete version of my mod pack, which is still in heavy development, from the link in the description. Overall, through this last half year, 
I've been able to combine my two favorite things in a project that I have been able to learn from, teach others, and hopefully eventually create something amazing.